Hi guys, I'm Tsuyoshi. Today, I show you reverse lasso guard, which is a kind of variation of cross grip curve. Like, when the time I can no grab this car like this, like this push up. So it's no good idea for me to make double snake grip like this. He's been able to use a lot of things like step overs, like dragging my leg side to side, then I'm in trouble. So, in this kind of situation, I much prefer to set up cross grip guard. Like, grabbing left side slip with my left hand, like this. So this time he can take a step along. So I just wanna stop his mobility. So I'm gonna hold his leg with my right arm like this. I even slightly make the angle, like getting close to his left side like this. So as I do so, I can completely stop his mobility. He cannot take step side to side, or like he can even drag my leg as well. Okay, from this position, once I can control him well, I start playing cross kick guy like this. Like all platter, X curve, like back row sweep. I'm already showing you other video. If you want to take a look, please just check the link. Okay, today I should reverse lasso guard. Okay, the first one is like a sweep him forward. Okay, when the time he pushes out like this, I cannot bring him down. So I break his posture down by stepping his armpit. I use my right hand to kick his armpit like this. Okay, and then from now I'm going to send him forward. So I want you to understand the direction to break his posture down. Okay, I'm not going to kick him forward like towards him. It's more like kicking him towards this type of direction, the side he doesn't have balance. Okay, so here I make more angle, like being upside down. Once I make this type of angle, I start kicking his armpit on this side like this. Okay, this is the first step. Next, okay, I extend my leg to kick his armpit, and then I slightly look at the other side, like this. Okay, he's going to fall. After I go like this, I attack my left leg in, and then I take top position. I can even start with two one on sleeve like this. Then I kick his hips away. This is the same as a like ever to sleep like this. That's a kind of option. Okay, I much prefer to self cross grip. So I hold his leg like this. When I time I hold his leg, I want to make sure that I use around my elbow joint. I'm not using my head like this. This is not good control. Like this. And then I slightly move my head towards his leg. So this is a cross kick guard like this. I want to even keep my left leg away from him. If I expose my leg around here, he can easily glow. Then he may even have to come to the other side, like stepping my leg over, like this. Then I'm in trouble. So that's why I completely come my left side. I want to keep it away from him, like this. Then he cannot come to my left side. But even if he wants to come to my right side, I can completely stop him with my arms and my right leg like this, okay? Then from this position, I want to attack. He may push up in this position, that should be realistic, right? I keep the sleeve like this. And then I raise my hips up to reach his armpit, like this. He wants I can step his armpit, this is very sticky. He cannot take it off. Even though he push up, I can take it off like this. I can keep it like this. Then from now, I make more angle. Look how I swing my left leg to the upside down like this, okay? Then once I do, I start kicking his armpit forward like this. In the first step, I just want to send him forward. From now, I do the rest of the curve. That's the hardest part in this technique. I'm not going to kick him forward or towards him side like this. Obviously, he can make a bounce like this. So as I control his arm like this on this side, he cannot pose his head on this side, okay? That's why I kick him. I slightly look at the other side like this. After I take top position, I still keep on holding his leg and arm like this. This is how I take an advantage, okay? As long as I keep it like this, he cannot take top. Okay, or at least make the combat pace. Then if I'm lucky, I'm able to get started control, or he may be able to recover position, but at least I sweep him. Now I show you how to say a reverse lasso. Okay, if it's possible, I want to try the last technique, like kicking it forward. It's much easier for me to attack, but sometimes I may not be able to kick his armpit. He only closes his elbow like this, even if he squats down, like this kind of situation, okay? Now I cannot kick. So that case, I want to set a reverse lasso. So before I do, I want to set a condition, okay? Okay, from this position, I want to open his elbow with my left leg, okay? So here, I raise my hips up, then as if I'm using my heel to open his elbow joint. Okay, so here, look, I use my heel, 
and then I slide open his elbow like this. Okay. Next, once I open his elbow, I can find space on his armpit. Okay. I slide my hand in to make reverse muscle like this. Okay. I just want to cut top side of the shoulder with my hand like this. Then I even open his knee with my knee like this. Of course, I have to keep on pulling sleep, like making regular lasso. This is the reverse lasso position, right? As I complete contours on like this, it's way harder for him to push up. Can I push up? I complete control his upper body by opening his elbow, right? Then when the time he drives it on me, that's a good timing for me to sleep. Okay, so here in this position, I slide the cushion to come forward. Like I push, then when he comes back, I open my knee like this. Okay, and from this position, it's kind of the same as the last technique. Okay, I extend both of my legs and then I send it forward to sit up like this. Okay, by the time I sit up, I'm going to let go lasso. I want to end up in the same position as like last one. Okay, I let go the lasso and then I take top position. Okay, it's kind of situation. Okay, I cannot send it forward. Right? Especially once I can open his elbow, it's way harder for him to make good base and posture. Like once you connect the elbow, this is how he makes frame to stay tight. So that's why I want to break it down. Okay. I swing my legs to raise my hips up. And then look how I use my heel like this. Okay. He crosses the elbow so tight. Look, I slightly use my heel like this. And then before he crosses his elbow, I put my hook in. And then I make a hook like this. Then the concept is opening his elbow, like controlling. Like I don't want to cross the elbow like this. So that's why I keep on opening my knee. Like this. This should be the same concept as a regular lasso, okay? This. I make it a grapevine on his arm. This, okay? Yeah, sometimes he may not come to me, but it's okay. In this time, I just want to look at this side. Like, even if he pushes up, as I can use my leg like this, I can shift his body weight forward. In order for me to do this sweep, I need to get his weight on my legs, okay? I pull him and then get Look. I use both sides of the machine, okay? And then from this position, I'm going to send it forward to sit up like this, okay? Obviously, this time, my leg is completely stacked. So that's why I need to pull it out, okay? So you can just leave that. So I gotta keep on holding his leg, okay? And then I let go the last one, okay? After I go like that, as if I'm making a combo space. And then I secure the top position. Okay, the next one is kind of variation. Sometimes he may make a different base. He may put his right on the mat in order to set good balance. Okay, once it happens, it's a bit difficult for me to say switch and fall like this. Most of the time, his waist, like the base is away from me. He may even posture up like this, okay? In this case, it's pretty difficult for me to say him. He may have a chance to cross his elbow like this, then I'm in trouble. So in that case, I just want to sweep him to the opposite side of the direction, okay? Like this, he's already making a good base. Okay, in that case, first I just wanna make him sit down, okay? So with the lasso, I kick him forward, then I slowly pull his heel, then I make him sit down like this, okay? I break his posture down. Okay, once I make him sit down, I do rest of the part. I raise the lasso, and then I do back row on my right shoulder. I swing my leg, and then I come up like this. Look how I keep holding his leg, okay? When I time I take off, I'm going to pick up his head and then I secure the top position. He's already making a good base uh, with a combat base like this, right? I cannot sweep him as like last one, okay? I just want to push him to the opposite side, like in a shoulder bridge towards him, like this, okay? Then, as an option, he may come back to me. If he comes back, I can try the last technique. This is a reaction like this. Okay, this time, okay, once I make him sit down, I want to keep him on the ground. That's why I gotta keep on kicking his hips with my shin like this. Then in order for me to take top position, I need to release the lasso, right? If I keep it, I cannot take top. I completely get stacked, okay? So that's why I release the lasso. Then as soon as I release, I start doing a shoulder roll with my right shoulder, okay? I swing my leg and then, as if I look at the other side, like this. Okay, during the time I roll, I want to make sure that I hold his leg like this. 
Okay? By the time I push up, I will switch my hands and then I secure the top position.